Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to swap out your dry fire mag springs, replace them, uh, or just remove them if you wanted to do that. So before we get started, uh, I want to encourage you to wear a pair of safety glasses as our springs are loaded under tension and depending on the heaviness of your spring, uh, it could go flying and we don't want it to hurt anybody. So I strongly encourage you to wear safety glasses for this procedure. Alright, so to begin with, I'm going to show you guys our newest model. This is our P9 dry fire mag. It does not come stock with a spring, however it does have a slot for it. There's a rounded recess inside here, and there's a knob on the back of the lever on this side, uh, meant for holding it. So as you put it in, I'm going to show you guys here how to install this first. I'm going to put it into the recess here first. I'm going to place my spring inside there, compress, cover with my hands, and let it work over the knob in the back. Once you've got it in place, give it a couple clicks to test to verify it works, and you're good to go. Uh, for removal, we recommend using either a pair of pliers or a very rigid screwdriver. Uh, as you can see here, I've got a flathead, small flathead screwdriver. You can pull that from the back coming forward. I like to cover the top with my thumb just so it can't go flying. I'll bring that out, and then once I feel it's free, I'll take my spring or my uh, screwdriver off and I'll compress it up between my fingers. And that's how you do your P9 model. Now. Let's move on to our X9 model. This is our Springfield XD line dry fire mag. Very similar design to the XD, or excuse me, to the SIG. So for this, I'll use the screwdriver again to remove. I'm gonna hook in there, cover with my thumb, bring it forward and backwards. Holding it in place with my thumb until I can get a two finger grip on it. To put it back in, it is identical to the SIG process. I'm gonna bring this into the cavity first compress and slide my thumb down, work it over until I've got it over the knob on the lever. That's how you're working and good to go. For our Glock line, this is probably the easiest one because the spring, as you can see, is so exposed. And so for this, I like to grab, let me see here, grab with my two fingers, my thumb and my pointer finger, and I'll pull backwards, compressing the spring, lift up and let it relax. And as it comes out, got it in my hands right there. To go back in, I like to put it in the lever side first, covering with my two side fingers here so it doesn't go flying those directions, compressing with my index finger. And it just slides right into place. Verify you're working. Good to go. Now, the MP spring system can be a little bit trickier just because you see the spring is kind of hugged down in there. You can either use the hemostat, I mean, uh, your pliers, or I prefer to use a screwdriver that screwdriver. So I'm going to cover the spring again so it's not going to come flying out as it's loaded under tension. Work that spring back using the screwdriver. Once it's out, switch and hold there. Putting your spring back in, I'd recommend using your thumbs. You can push it in against the lower side first. Squeeze and bring back. I'm covering with my top finger so it doesn't go flying anywhere. I'm going to work it backwards until I can slide it over the, the knob of the lever side that you can see there. Verify you're working and you're good to go. 